Okay, um, I've been using the Hobonichi now for about a week and a little over a week actually now, um, starting on the 24th. And I just thought I'd show you so far what I've been doing. Um, I don't have a really exciting life, but, um, uh, so on, um, Christmas Eve, uh, we went out and had breakfast at a, a Greek place um, called Dimitri's, I think, in 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 our local town. And then in the evening, as our tradition is, we watched A Christmas Carol, um, the 1951 version. And both my husband and I think that's one of our two favorite versions. The other one is the 1938 version. Um, so, watch that. And then on Christmas Day, we got up, and, or I got up, and um, we had uh, duck for our uh, Christmas dinner. And this is just my notes to myself that I need to turn the duck every hour, basically. And then we, um, then we watched the Doctor, while, while we were eating dinner, uh, we watched the Doctor Who Christmas um, special. And I really liked it a lot. Um, in fact, I watched it again later on. And then later that evening, I watched uh, Call, the Mid uh, Call the Midwife uh, Christmas special. And as usual, it's sad and yet inspiring at the same time. If you haven't seen the show, um, I'd recommend it. Especially if you're a female. I'm not sure if guys would like it. My husband... He said it was okay, but it's not his thing, so. And then on uh, Friday, I um, just put this um, Bible, and I read the Bible each morning, and I was just, um, I think I've just, I think this is where I just finished the um, one year eat, eat the Bible plan. Um, so I'll, I think that was when I finished it. And then I went over to, um, have some coffee at Tim Hortons. And this is just, uh, had a dark roast. There wasn't a mouse there. I don't know why I drew the mouse. There was no, there were no mice in Tim Hortons that I'm aware of. I just started drawing this mice on it. Um, on Saturday, I have a thing that it's called a, uh, AeroPress to make my coffee. And occasionally I forget to put the the bottom uh, piece of paper in the thing and it and also tighten the bottom correctly. And so it kind of explodes. And that's what happened this that morning. And then I realized as I was walking down the stairs that my husband was still home. Well, I knew that actually, but for some reason it didn't connect that I would I could have the car. So I went out and got more coffee. And I went to a place in our town, a little coffee shop called Kiasha, I think it is. Um, the coffee was very good. However, they had no internet. Or at least I couldn't get on it, which is more likely. Um, Sunday, I got up and went out to over to Dunkin' Donuts, picked up some coffee and a donut. In the afternoon, I watched uh, the NFL football. That's a really... That's supposed to be me but I don't look anything like that because well it's just it's just wrong but I it was a stick figure um Monday I was trying out my uh I got a new French pressed press and so I was trying that out it's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be but I still like it um and after fiddling around for a while I discovered my Chromecast is no longer worth working, and so um, that's not. I'm not very happy. Although it's, yeah, no, I'm not happy. Uh, I went to bed at nine o'clock because I had been up late the night before, and on December thirtieth, I was thinking about my mom who passed away earlier this year, early in two thousand fourteen, and I was just missing her. And this is a picture of. The beach um, that we uh, let her grow on, and um, I this is her footprints in the sand on it, 
Um, you see what I hear? Oh, this is me just having uh, one of my uh, problems when I started thinking about 20 things at the same time. So it says goals 2015. And then I have, but I, but I, but did I leave the burner on? And then uh, Facebook. And then, of course, Squirrel. And it's, uh, that's why I have Squirrel Mind here. Uh, December uh, 31st, I just kind of went ahead and put in some firecrackers and just Happy New Year's on it. I didn't do anything that day really exciting, so, on it. And then Thursday, um, I exercised, um, trying to do that more regularly this year in 2015, but that's always my goal, so I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Um, just trying to figure out the kettlebell. I have a new 10-pound kettlebell my husband brought me for Christmas. Um, was reading the book called The Moving Van. Uh, it's a, it's a really, I like, it, it's a good um, mystery thriller. I like it because the hero is like a 72-year-old uh, survivor of World War II. And so he's not your normal, you know, you're not your normal hero, basically. Um, stayed up until 1.30 watching the bowl game. If you haven't noticed, I like, I like to watch football, so. And then... Uh, that was, this is yesterday. Yesterday, I was very tired because I had stayed up until 1.30 watching the football. Uh, so I was dragging all day. Uh, for dinner, we had breakfast. I made drop biscuits uh, from a family farmer recipe. Uh, it worked it really well. It was easy. Uh, this is supposed to be an egg, bacon, and the drop biscuits. And my husband made some pumpkin pie. And it was very good. And that's basically all I have right now. As you can tell, I'm not the world's greatest drawler. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to be using, uh, you know, how this Hobonichi thing is going to work. Um, I'm basically using as a picture, really a picture journal, basically. Um, and I'm trying, one of the, one of my goals is to be, learn to draw better this year. So, um, but anyway, that's my uh, post for, um, video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find me on Twitter and Facebook and thank you for watching and have a great day.